Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to watch Reddit videos on your Nexus player. Now Reddit's probably my number one source for funny and interesting videos. There's a reason that they call it the front page of the internet after all. But so far the best way to watch these videos on the Nexus player has been to use a good Reddit client on your smartphone then cast the videos over to your TV. And when you think about it, that's the same experience you get with a $35 Chromecast. So we've really been missing out on the Android TV platform, which is far more capable than that. Thankfully though, we've got developers like Justin Gone working to get this fledgling platform up on its feet with the kind of powerful and unique apps that set Android TV apart from the other options on the market. His latest work is a Reddit video client called Hopwatch to let you browse your favorite subreddits with your remote control. Now to get this one going you have two options. The first and easiest method would be to purchase the app from the Google Play Store for 99 cents. The process behind that is as simple as logging into your Google account with any web browser then hitting up the Hopwatch install page to purchase the app and install it on your Nexus player in a few simple clicks. But if you'd rather try before you buy, the developer has been kind enough to offer users a free trial version of his app. This version will need to be sideloaded though, but if you've never sideloaded an app on your Nexus player or just need to get everything set up in that regard, I've got a guide on that topic linked out at the full tutorial for this one. You can also find a download link for the Hopwatch trial APK over at the full tutorial, so head to the link in the description below to grab your copy. With that taken care of, transfer the APK over to your Nexus player and you'll be ready to get going. From here just run the APK, then install the app like any other. I should note that this trial version is only good until April 8th, at which point you'll need to purchase the full version to continue using Hopwatch. But once you've got the app installed, let's open it up and see what it's all about. Now even without setting anything up, Hopwatch provides some great content. This first row here shows the hottest current videos from the r slash videos subreddit. To play one of these videos all you have to do is click it. It'll open with the YouTube app almost immediately with a nice little toast message that shows you the title of the corresponding post on Reddit. And speaking of YouTube, Hopwatch is limited to videos that are hosted on YouTube.com. But that's the vast majority of Reddit videos, so it's really not limited at all, honestly. Then beneath that top row of trending videos, you've got a few more categories. This next one is a sortable list of the video subreddit. So click this red icon at the beginning of the list to sort the subreddit by top day, top week, etc. Beneath that you've got a sortable domain listing for YouTube. This is every Reddit submission site wide that links to a YouTube video. Scrolling down further there are a couple of more interesting subreddits that are also sortable. But at the bottom you've got your actions menu. Here you can refresh all the rows at once and even customize the content shown in the rows. From this menu, you can add and delete subreddit listings. It's really simple too. Just hit the plus button, then type in the name of your favorite video subreddit. But before I sign off, there's one more awesome feature that I'd like to show you. Hopwatch actually displays the top trending Reddit videos right on your home screen in the recommended section. This is actually my favorite feature so far because it updates at a decent interval, so I'm always one click away from watching some awesome Reddit content. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!